What's going on, YouTube tonight? This is your man TiVo from Lords of the Long Box, and welcome to another edition of Letters from the Long Box from our man Mikey Sutton and GeekosityMag.com. It's been quite a minute, man. We've been busy on the Lords with the cover price shows on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mikey's been busy with Gigosity Mags, and we kind of went away from doing letters, but Mikey, we I talked to Mikey over the weekend, and then Mikey loves doing it, he missed doing it, but he was so busy with his regular stuff that we're going to get back to doing this on a semi-regular basis, if not a weekly basis, where Mikey Sutton and I answer any questions you may have about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the MCU, uh, the DC Extended Universe, the CW, anything comic book related and movie and TV show related, we will drop right here. As usual, if you have a question that you want us to use, leave it once the video posts. We also post some on the Geekos or the Facebook Geosity page, but I think from now on, we're going to do most of them here from the Lords, but make sure you peep it out over there on the Geekosity Facebook page as well. So without further ado, let's get right to it, boys and girls. Wow, it's been a minute. It's hopefully I can still uh, stay in character. Shout out. To everybody, uh, happy belated Thanksgiving. Hopefully this video will drop on a Sunday evening after Thanksgiving. Thank everybody for the auctions that came out on Friday. And I just hope everybody had a really happy Thanksgiving, given what 2020 has given us. It's almost end of the year, boys and girls. We just got to hang in there a little bit longer. So let's get right to it, boys and girls. Um, these are all from Lords of the Long Box. This is from our last one. I think the last Letters of the Long Box video we did was about a year ago. So let's get right to it. Our friend Red, a uh, little uh, already messed up. Red Lodge Crow asks, "Will the Secret Invasion scroll invasion or the invasion scroll appear in She-Hulk?" Mikey's response is, "Not that I am aware of. I haven't heard of any scroll appearances or even cameos in She-Hulk. I cannot rule it out either, though." Uh, yeah, that'd be kind of weird why the sc scroll invasion or Secret Invasion would be in She-Hulk, but. It's going to span a little bit over everything. So it's pretty, pretty in early development. I mean, so we shall see. All right. Next question is King Bo asks, will the Fantastic Four be African-American since Kang got cast as such? Good question. Kevin Feige wants to keep them as faithful to the comics book as possible. Before you say, hey, wait a second. Know that Kang uh, is originally an Egyptian character and they got a uh, African-American character. Egypt is part of Africa. So, I mean, if you think about it, it's pretty close to the casting. The, I think the latest news we had heard was John Krasinski was going to be playing Reed Richards and, and Emily Blunt as Sue Richards. So there you go. There was rumors that spread, I don't want a year or two ago, how they, there was, there was, they weren't really accurate. They were saying they wanted to get a person of color for Professor X and Magneto, but really it was just some movie sites that were clickbaity that wanted to get that. There was really never any traction on that. There's enough diversity in the 616 or the Marvel Universe as it is already without having to change characters out. Plus, especially with uh, Magneto, that one's interesting because, you know, obviously if they cast him now, I mean, it's 2020. The um, the Holocaust happened in the in the 30s, so the character would be pretty old. So they may have to reboot him, revamp him, but still keep him close to his um, his heritage. But that's neither here nor there since the question is about Fantastic Four. But just in general, you get an idea. You kind of see what they're doing. Uh, General <laughs> General Pudis, I always love that name. Thanks for another great video, you two. Wow, this was this is really old because I haven't done a Letters and Long Box video in a while, but. Thank you anyway. Is it true that Warner Brothers is considering hiring Jim Carrey to play an older Joker in the Matt Reeves Batman movies? Definitely not happening is what Mikey says. There is no artistic or commercial reason to have him as a Joker at this point. I love Batman forever personally. That's Mikey saying that, not me. <laughs> but the last thing Warner Brothers needs is to scare people into thinking the Joker will be campy a la his Riddler. I would say Jim Carrey's Riddler was pretty darn good, you know, for what it was. I mean, those movies are a little bit, and it was kind of for the time and the era of comic book movies. Well, at least what they end up going with it. All right. Thanks for the question. Next question is from Blister Basket. Blister Basket. I like saying that. Is there any chance that they would make a Rise of Kylo Ren series similar to The Mandalorian? Good question. Oof. If you've been watching Mandalorian, holy cow. This season has been incredible. All right. But 
Uh, because of how polarizing the new trilogy was, namely the last two, spinning these characters off into their own properties is unlikely at this point. Expect Lucas, Lucasfilm to dig deeper into the extended or expanded universe instead, which they've kind of already doing. If you put the uh, Thrawn expanded universe and spoiler alert if you haven't seen the mandalorian thron's name's been drawn there's been a bunch of stuff with dave filoni and and john favreau at the helm of the mandalorian they are going deep deep into old star wars lore mythos so um expect more of that we've heard about some stuff they're going to be doing with some of the other uh bounty hunters and uh, boba fett um so wow i mean this season has been incredible so many teases from what i'm hearing i mean Characters just seem to pop in and out, but I think some of the more major characters are going to spin off into their own series. Um, I don't want to get too much into spoilers since it's Sunday. Maybe 2% of you haven't seen The Mandalorian yet from Friday or uh, for late Thursday night. So there you go. Hawaiian Punch 72 asks, are there any plans in the works to see Poison Ivy on the big screen or TV series? Mikey's response is she will be, she will be appearing again on film in a major way. However, it won't be on the Suicide Squad. That's for the record. Interesting. So, in a major way. I wonder what that means. So, hmm. So, pretty light list of questions since, you know, we've been lagging on this. And I want to apologize. Mikey's been super busy. I I've been super busy. But we promise we're going to start getting this going again, going again. And hopefully, you know, get a lot of viewership. We've got a lot of questions. As the year goes on and hopefully things, there's more production going on in the, uh, on the Marvel side and the DC side and all the sides, actually, uh, independent um, comic book movies as well. Hopefully, we will get more uh, stuff leaked out and my, our man Mikey is on the job. So until next time, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.